Now, before the likes of Tony Adams, Patrick Vieira, or maybe to a certain extent, you know, um, Pat Rice, the precursor to those players, who were, of course, all captains at Arsenal, was this guy, Frank McClintock. Yes, real hard, hard geezer, hard player, a real leader of men. Frank McClintock, MBE, a former Scotland international and footballer. He began his career in Scottish junior football with um, Swarfield before earning a professional co- English first division club at the time, the Leicester City, in December 1965. He played in two FA Cup final defeats before he was sold to Arsenal for a record at the time for 80,000 in October 1964. However, he had a poor start in his career at Arsenal, though he did feature in two League Cup final defeats, but he found success at the club after being switched from right half to centre half in 1969. He was appointed as captain who led the first European trophy in the Inter-City Fears Cup in 1970. The following season in 1970-71, he captained Arsenal to the double as they won the League and FA Cup he was sold then, after, after a few years in 1973, to Queen's Park Rangers in June for a fee of 25000 and helped the club to finish at first division runners-up in 1975-76 season. Oh, look, just, just, just a few years ago, <laughs> before he announced his retirement in 1977. In 1964, let's go back just a few steps. McIntock was signed again by Arsenal for a club record 80,000. He endured a poor debut at Highbury, mishitting a back pass to allow Nottingham Forest John Barnwell, who actually, ironic, ironically enough, had been sold by Arsenal to finance McIntock's transfer to uh, score an easy goal. He found that manager Billy Wright had no identifiable system, sounds familiar, um, of play and McClintock soon regretted joining the club at his first four games, all ended in defeats. It was poor in the form in 1964, 65, 65, 66 and 66-67, yeah, the year I was born, seasons, but remained a regular first team player as the Gunners struggled in mid-table. However, um, a new management duo of Bernie Mead and Dave Sexton began to slowly turn the team around and also improved to ninth place by the 67-68 campaign. After Sexton's departure, Don Howe was promoted to first team coach and continued to improve the team's training methods. They reached the League Cup final at Wembley Stadium in 1968 but were beaten 1-0 by, yes, Leeds, with Arsenal having an equalised goal ruled out. Arthur McClintock was a judge to have foul goalkeeper Gary Sprake. In the summer, he was named Arsenal's Player of the Year and his final four-year contract came to an end. He was appointed as team captain uh, in 1968-69 season, taking over from Terry Neal and signed a new four-year contract. For the second successive season, Arsenal reached the League Cup final as his opponent Swindon Town were from the third division. McClintock expected that he would finally secure a trophy on his fourth visit to Wem- Wembley. However, Swindon won 3-1 after extra time and McClintock blamed an influenza bre- outbreak that affected him and five other first team players on the day and also blamed the Horse of the Year show for ruining the pitch. Oh, terrible. The disappointment did not detract from their league form, however, and they secured a a place in the Interferes Cup with a fourth place finish. He started in 1969-70 season at centre-half after initially filling in at a position for an injured Peter Simpson towards the end of the previous campaign. This in turn allowed George Graham to move back and play at centre-half. McClintock and Simpson formed a highly effective centre-back partnership and soon mastered the offside trap. That also sounds familiar too, but we'll talk about that uh, at a a later podcast. In Europe, he missed the first two rounds due to injury before returning to starting 11 for victories over Rouen in France, FCM Bacal, Romania and Ajax Netherlands to reach the final against Belgium club Anderlecht. 
However, Arsenal lost 3-1 in the first leg at Constant Van Dem Stock Stadium and as Anderlecht outplayed them. They turned the tie around at Highbury though and won the game 3-0 and 4-3 to secure the club's first major trophy in 17 years. And so he captain Arsenal to their double 1970-71 season in what was only their fourth time <coughs> the feat had been accomplished in the history of Football League Aside from 5-0 defeat to Stoke City, Arsenal built their success on a solid defence and claimed 10 1-0 victories during the campaign. And I imagine 1-0 to the Arsenal will ring very, very true. So, there you have it. Frank McClintock, the precursor to the previous captains in recent times, Thierry Henry, Fabregas, Patrick Vieira, and um, Tony Adams. Uh, oh, how we miss the likes of uh, the, this this current player. Well, this player here, Frank McClintock, True Grit. That's your wonderful book. So, um, if you've been wondering who or what you've been watching, you've been watching Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. And if you want me to feature a specific player, put the comments in the box, and I will I'll do my best to do my research. And um, yeah, it will be almost and upwards. And uh, until then, I'll see you on the next video.